All right, once you have your Encore theme activated in terms of available in your list, now you can edit. So you wanna go into the site and we are gonna start with your login page. So the login page, that's what people see when they are logging in to get access to the content that they have ownership of via an offer. So this is what the page looks like when you are starting right here and you can adjust any of this. So for the header page, you can, it works just like the building blocks do in Premiere. So you'll see we have the logo block, the menu block, and the user menu. So you can delete any of these that you would like. You can add content that you would like. So if you would like a drop down menu instead, you can do a drop down menu. You can do your logo, logo, social icons, a menu, and the user menu. The user menu is the login that you see right here with the avatar right there. You'll also see that you have the hello bar. So the hello bar is similar to what you might already be familiar with in terms of an announcement. So again, these are people that are coming to log in. You can put a hello bar here or an announcement bar. The actions available are our standard functions, landing page, sales page, checkout page, probably don't want to send them to a checkout page when they're trying to log in, download a file, URL, opt-in pop-up, or go to a section on this page. So really the only one that makes sense in my mind is you might send them to a URL, but they are coming to log in. So maybe not the best time to be directing them away from where they want to go. So just keep that in mind always focus on what is the intention and the mindset of the person when they're on a specific page and then we're creating the experience that they need around that. So you have that as an option, but that is what the hello bar is. It functions just like an announcement bar does in current Premiere. So we can also add content. So we can, um, you could add a call to action Maybe they don't have the um, any offers. Maybe they can't log in. You could put a call to action in to send them to where they can get your lead magnet. How can they get into the library? Maybe your offer checkout pages. So this library, again, I can move things around like so. The hello bar is going to stay right at the top. So in case you're like, oh, I'm, I'm trying to move. That is gonna that that lives at the top of the page, but I can flip flop other things around. So that is your login page. You also have desktop and mobile as your layout. So those are standard um, Encore features. So you can create different buttons to make the experience more shorter or focused on mobile devices. So that is your login page and how to edit that. So have fun, design your red carpet. I will give you an example. I have done my own. So I added the image right here. I added the word welcome. We use the key in PBK, login here. I adjusted the wording instead of it just saying, saying email, please enter your email. Now you may enter your password. Yes, please remember my information. Log in now. So that you can make, you know, slight little adjustments, allows you to stay on brand, allows you to, again, keep everything consistent and aligned with your business. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. I'm always happy to help.